A minor is our next chord. This is a really useful one to know. It comes up again in tons of songs and it's quite easy to play, only three fingers. So this chord, we have the first finger on the first fret of the B string. Your second finger goes on the second fret of the D string. And finally, your third finger goes just beneath that on the second fret of the G. And it should sound like this. This chord, as I say, is a very common one, it comes up a lot. And uh, there's a few things that can go wrong though, so let's have a quick look. Some of the things that can go wrong is this E won't ring. So again, just keep that finger pointy as possible. Also with this chord, try and strum from the A note as well. It is an A minor chord, so A would be a really good note to strum from there. All right, here we go. It's that time again to play the A minor chord with the band. Now, just remember, I'm gonna do the same as we did with the E minor chord. I'm gonna count you in and I'm only gonna strum the chord once. So I'm not playing on every beat. I'm just playing on beat one and I'm letting it ring. And the reason I'm doing that, of course, is just so you can check everything's ringing. One, two, three, four. One, two. Stop counting now, I hope you can see where you are. Here's a nice one for A minor. Led Zeppelin used this a couple of times, this trick. As well as doing your hammering on, you can try hammering on the whole chord, you know, like we did with A minor, uh, E minor, I'm sorry. Or you can hammer on one finger. But what I want to show you with this chord, which is really nice, you can add your little finger just to the third fret here of the high E, and you get this sound. Now this isn't something you always want to play with the A minor, you can just add it like we did with our D sus4 um, chord just before. So we're going... So just see if you can add that. If you've got a lot of time on A minor, it just helps to make the chord sound a bit more exciting. 